Hello everyone. In this video, we will see some example problems under probability. As mentioned earlier, this is a common topic that is present in discrete mathematics also and under statistics as well. This is our first example problem uh, which is taken from a statistics paper. Here they have given that A and B are independent events. As soon as you see that uh, two events are independent, you need to know that probability of a intersection B probability of A intersection B is equal to probability of A into probability of B this is for independent events so as soon as you see that two events are independent first thing you need to uh, take into mind is this one for independent events intersection probability is equal to product of the individual probabilities and they have given that probability of A or B. A or B is nothing but A union B. And that is equal to 0 0.6. So probability of A union B is equal to 0 0.6. And probability of A is given uh, which is equal to 0 0.4. We need to find out what is probability of B. Use the formula for probability of A union B. It is equal to probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A intersection B. Here probability of A union B is given to be 0 0.6. Probability of A is 0 0.4. We don't know what is probability of B. Let me take it as X minus probability of A intersection B. We know that for independent events, it's going to be the product. So I will take P of A into P of B. P of A is 0 0.4. And P of B is X. Now simplify this to get the value of X. So 0.4 goes to LHS. Uh, it becomes a minus 0.4. So 0.6 minus 0.4 is 0.2. And X minus 0.4 X gives you 0.66. Now we will find out what is X. X is 0.2 divided by 0.6 which is equal to 1 by 3. So probability that uh, B occurs, the probability of B is equal to 1 by 3. Therefore, probability of B is 1 by 3. So this is a 5 marks question. The next question is in which there is a bag containing 10 white and 3 black balls. Balls are drawn one by one without replacement. Please note that if it is given as without replacement, then we can solve it using combination formula till all the black balls are drawn. Find the probability that all black balls are drawn by sixth draw. It means you are drawing six balls out of which all three black balls should be present. Means the remaining three were white balls. So to solve this, first we will find out what is the probability of having six uh, balls in which three are black. So probability of this event happening is we need to take all the three black balls which is 3c3 into uh, we will have we, we will be taking the white balls out of uh, 10 which is 10c3 divided by so totally it means that we have taken six balls out of that three black balls are there remaining three are white balls understand this carefully uh, we are supposed to find the probability that all black balls are drawn by sixth draw. It means you are not taking black balls before that. By sixth draw only, all three black balls are uh, taken out. It means there were three white balls taken as well. Uh, so that out of six balls, we have three black and three white. So first in the numerator, find out out of three, we need to take three black balls. So that is 3C3 into out of 10 white balls we should have taken 3 white balls which is 10 c3 this is your numerator and for denominator always add all the uh, objects available which is 10 and 3 together is 13 out of 13 you have to choose 6 balls this is the denominator now simplify this that gives you the required probability 3 c3 is 1 into 10 c3 is 10 into 9 into 8 
divided by 3 factorial which is 3 into 2 into 1 divided by here 13 c 6 is there for which we will write 6 numbers from 13 uh, divided by 6 factorial so we will write 13 into 12 into 11 into 10 into 9 into 8 divided by uh, we should write uh, 6 factorial here Now if you observe this part 10 into 9 into 8 divided by 3 into 2 into 1 is there here as well which gets cancelled. Now 6 into 5 into 4 goes to the numerator divided by 13 into 12 into 11. 6 2s are 12, 2 2s are 4. Uh, numerator is 5 into 2 10 divided by 13 into 11 is 143 this is the required probability so the probability that all black balls are drawn by sixth draw is 10 by 143 suppose in this question if they ask you exactly same question but in the end instead of sixth draw suppose they give fifth draw suppose it means you are taking out five balls out of which 3 are black remaining true 2 are white means all black balls are taken okay so all three black balls are taken remaining two will be white in that case how you should write for the numerator out of three black balls you are taking all the three out of 10 balls white balls you are taking only two because totally in fifth draw all the black balls are taken that is the question it means you are taking out five balls so uh, all three black are taken so remaining two are from white divided by again total balls is 13 c 5 so out of 13 balls we have taken out 5 balls expand this and simplify to get the answer so that uh, can be a possible variation in this type of questions now let us see the next question the next question is also based on uh, combination only here a box x contains 5 red, 4 blue balls. Box Y contains 2 red and 5 blue balls. A ball is drawn at random from each box. Find the probability that drawing 1 red and 1 blue ball. Now, there are 2 boxes here. One is box X and the other one is box Y. Now, here we are going to take 2 balls, one from each box. And out of the 2 balls that is taken, we are supposed to have one red and one blue ball here. Uh, so we have two uh, possibilities here. Two possibilities. So possibility number one, that is case one is, we will take red from box X. Okay. And blue from box Y. This is one possibility because since we have two boxes and we are supposed to take uh, one from each only and uh, after taking the two balls one should be red and one should be blue. So there is a possibility that I take out red ball from X and uh, blue ball from Y or I could have taken blue from the first box okay blue from box X and red from box y now let us find out the probability for the first sub case what is the first case from box x i am taking out red ball so this is red from box x and blue from box y now what is the probability of getting a red ball out of box x in box x we have five red balls out of a total of nine balls out of nine five red balls are there so probability of getting a red ball from box x is 5 by 9 and now i need a blue ball from box y so box y contains totally two red and five blue balls so total balls is seven out of that how many blue are there five this is a probability of getting red from x and y blue from y so this is uh, 25 divided by 63 now we will find out what is the probability of the second sub case that is taking blue ball from x and red ball from y. Now we will find out what is the probability of getting a blue ball from x box. So in box x I have totally 9 balls. 
out of which four are blue so the probability of getting a blue ball is four out of nine and now what is the probability of getting red ball from y in y totally we have seven balls and we have two red balls so two out of seven is the probability of getting a red ball from box y now this is 8 by 63 so the answer is so probability of getting one red and one blue is equal to either we are going to have this case or this case so add these two 25 by 63 plus 8 by 63 which gives you 33 by 63 cancel this from 3 you will get 11 by 21 so this is the answer now the next question here we have one box only in this there are three categories of balls so we have red balls white balls and black balls a person draws four balls from this box at random now the probability that among the balls there is at least one ball of each color means we cannot have all four red balls, all four white or all four black. Three, all the three colors must be present out of this four balls. So what all possibilities are there? So we need to take four balls, right? So here uh, we might have one red, one white. Now the first possibility is one red, one white and two black balls so the next one is one red two white and one black so this also makes it a total of four or we might have two red one white and one black so all the colors we are considering and in each case we have one ball from two different colors and two balls from one color so that the total is four uh, balls now let us find the probability of each one of this so this one i'll take it as probability of r w b b here what is the probability of getting the red ball when we take out uh, one ball is one red right so it is six c one out of red balls i'm taking one into out of four white balls i am taking one into out of five black balls i am taking two divide this by the total of all these we need to take which is six plus four plus five fifteen out of fifteen i need to select four balls this is the first probability now the next one is one red two white and one black right so from six balls I need one red ball from four white balls I need two and from five black balls we need one divided by out of 15 balls we need four next is probability of having two red one white and one black ball now out of six red balls we need two red balls out of four white balls we need one and out of five black balls we'll choose one divide this by again 15 c4 so instead of writing this 15 c4 in each and every denominator you can write it in the last step also uh, now let us add all these three sub cases that is going to be our answer so the required probability is probability of the given event we need to add all the three i'm going to simplify this this is 6 into 4 into 5c2 is 10. You can simplify it if you want. 15c4. And uh, here we get 6 into uh, this is 12 by 2, 6 and 5 divided by 15c4. And here uh, 6c2 is 15. And this is 4 and 5 divided by 15 c4 now we need to add all this three to get the answer uh, here it is 240 plus uh, this is uh, 
30 into 6 is 180 and here 20 into 15 is 300. Divide this by 15 C4. We will expand it and write 4 numbers 15 into 14 into 13 into 12. Divided by 4 factorial is 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. 4 3s are 12 gets cancelled. 2 7s are 14. Now let us simplify this. We get 720 divided by 15 into 7 into 13. 5 3s are 144. Next I'll cancel from 3. 3 4s are 12 and uh, 2 remainder 24 8s are Yes, that's it. Further cancelling is not possible. So this is 48 by 91. So the required probability is 48 by 91. Uh, this question, instead of writing like this, you can also represent this way. Whenever we have uh, multiple categories, we can represent it this way. The procedure is same. We have six red balls. We have four white balls and uh, five black balls, right? So write it in the form of a table. We need at least one from each color, right? And the total should be four. Total uh, number of balls that we select should be four. So it can be one from these two and two here or one red two white and one black or two red one white one black so these are uh, different uh, possibilities now use combination formula and find out each one I'll remove this line so here uh, out of six balls one red which is 6c1 into this is 4c1 into this is 5c2 and for second subcase, 6C1 into 4C2 into 5C1. And for the last one, it is 6C2 into 4C1 into 5C1. Now find out each of these values. Uh, basically, you're going to get only these numerators, whatever we have written here. So this is going to be 240. This is 180 and 300 add all this this gives the numerator now you can write the probability for probability write this numerator now as i told you this common denominator which is there that you can write it in the last step so totally we have 15 balls out of that we need to select four now this you can simplify so if you expand you are going to get this 720 divided by 15 into 14 into 13 into 12 divided by 4 factorial which is 24 directly you can write or you can write it this way so this is basically this step we have arrived at this step uh, here we have not written as case 1 case 2 basically the calculations are same but we have just represented the answer in a different way these are some of the commonly repeated questions and practice other similar questions and uh, in the telegram channel i'm going to upload this notes along with some more questions and solutions uh, link to that is mentioned in the description if you have not yet joined you can join the telegram channel to get all these notes uh, see you in the next video bye bye